But we're going to open it up. And when you first open it... Wet and Wild joins forces with the lovable, huggable Care Bears to transport, transport you to their cuddly home of a care lot. Journey through a nourishing and uplifting collection of wondrous color and comforting prep and artistry tools as the ultimate care package to spread love and cheer. So it comes like this. There's a lot. There's definitely a lot. If you wanted the whole box set right there, this is $84.99 off of Wet n Wild. I believe it's also coming to Ulta from this right here. So normally you get this and the Sunday afterwards is when it releases in their stores. But I have the Wet n Wild website up so it's eight. $84.99 for the whole collection with the box and everything. So, there's that. And the first thing in here I'm going to show you guys is this Pick Me Up Care Bears Face Mist. It smells very strong. Oh, I don't know what that smells like. But there's that. It's got the blueberry on there. The next up we have Get Through the Night Setting Spray. This one's also very strong. Ooh, that one was leaking. Uh oh. Don't enjoy that smell. We do have this Brighten Your Day. Power Serum. Primer Serum. So this is a primer. I don't have any foundation or anything on. It smells like lemons. I, I will test that out though because of the fact that I have it here. Then we have a sponge. Changes color. Always care a lot. Makeup sponge. Cute. We have... So the settings price before I go too fast are $9.49 a piece. The sponge is $6.49. The serum $9.49. This is Care Bears Resting Bare Face Cleansing Balm. So I, this is to remove your makeup. I don't see it on their web page, so I guess this you can't order this on its own. I don't see it on there. Well, okay. That was interesting. I can already smell through it. It smells like coconuts to me. And then we have a cute little duo here. Eyelash curler and mascara set. That one is $9.49. And then it looks like we have some really sparkly going on here. Sing out loud. Uh, I'm trying to see. Sing out loud. These are shimmer lip glosses. Sing out loud. That one's like a clear one. Oh my goodness. It's like already giving me a headache. Share a smile. It's like a light pink. That is strong. Very strong. Then we have Spread the Love. And we have Free Hugs. So we have like a clear, a light pink, a darker pink, and then a reddish color. I know my color descriptions are unmatched. So there's the plastic. I don't think you guys really care about that. And then we have this. Give Me TLC Lip Care Kit. So make it sweet, exfoliant, and then play, sleep, and repeat. So we have the lip scrub and the lip mask right here. Oof. And those are unknown as well because I don't see it on their page. I'm like trying to say there's a page two or something and there's not. But then we have some glitter. Look at this cute glitter here. Glitter gel is what it says. Oh, what is that? What is that? Came right off, but ooh. That one's just clear. 
that one is unavailable, so it's not showing me, um, it's sold out online, so it's not showing me the price. This one's cute, it's got little hearts in there. Stand Out and Shine is that pink one. Free to Shine is the clear one. And then we have Bronzer, Live, Laugh, Hug for $6.49. let it sh let your light shine look at this highlighter in there it looks amazing so also 649 and then we have this pale blush 649 do what you love and finally the palette the palette is Oh dear lord, no, it doesn't come with the lashes, $16.99, and I had found the lashes, but since I thought the lashes came in the PR, in the, in the box, I didn't keep them, I returned them, <gasps> to try to get my money back, so that's the sad part, Gary me, so I don't have everything, so, with that being said, I'm going to pull it up on my phone to show you the things I did not get because I let it slip my mind. So, if you go to your local Walmart, you will be able to find these, okay? So, there's these, um, there's two pairs of lashes as part of this collection. It's on the Wet n Wild website. Luckily, luckily it's on the website, so you can order it through there, too. It just doesn't come in the box. I wish I had like realized that my mistake before that. So the gem mask looks like this. And like let me there we go. So you have the gems like that. 649. <laughs> Did you hear the way I did <laughs> my gasp of like surprise? Cause I really thought, you know, it'd be in that. But it's okay. And then the false lashes. You can find them, I believe it was like $5 at Walmart. So they have these. Which are supposed to look like that. And the other ones look like this. These are the ones I wanted. Those are the Wish Big. And then the other ones are My Lucky Day. And it comes in that. In that kind of packaging. And then the Wish Big. Is that one. They're also sold out online. Oh, dearie me. Okay, so I found the lip scrubs. Each one is... The lip scrub by itself is six forty nine. There's also a makeup set that a sponge set that I did not get in that box either, which is sixteen ninety nine. A makeup bag for sixteen ninety nine. Dual ended brush set for sixteen ninety nine. Again, you know, the face gems, $6.49. And there were these artificial nails, if you think they're cute. You know, if those are your thing. Or for your, um, your little ones, if you wanted to. Those are... I believe they're sold out as well, but they were like $5 at Walmart. You have two sets. And then the other one's like cute little ones with like little stars on there. You're like, Mara, you can't see those. Like this. Little stars. Let me see if I can help you guys by turning that off. Because it's just, I'm not doing you any justice. <laughs> Is that better? No. No, the glare is still... Th oh, there we go. So that's that first set I was trying to show you guys. And then the second set was this little stars on there 
There's just a lot of showing. This collection is actually pretty big. Yeah, and then the lip mask by itself is $6.49. So that's the box I got and didn't realize that it didn't come with everything. I don't know why I didn't. It even shows you the photo. So that's that. So just so you know, I'm back with the full light. No, now that my heart is broken a bit. Because, you know, I was expecting to put lashes and put you guys on and everything. All that. But let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. So, we're, I, I don't know if I should use this. Oh, It smells. I'm going to just drop it on my face. rub it in it smells like lemons like it really does just smell like lemons so putting that on and then I'm not gonna use that cuz it's just too cute I mean I probably should it's too cute though I'm gonna open it up I don't know I'm like should I but if it's not good quality, normally wet and wall sponges are good quality. Normally, if they're this hard, I don't like to use them. Consistency is very hard. Oh, look! A little bit of moisture. I think it's going to turn blue. Oh, I don't have a bowl of water or anything. I'm going to drop a little bit of water on there. supposed to be color changing. Is it color changing? Yeah, it is turning blue. I thought so. I was like, when I first touched it, it was slightly changing into like this blue color. Yeah, see? Look at that. It's changing blue. <laughs> that's just fun you know what's well, changing when I touch it not really so much about the water it's just as I'm touching it see I'm just squeezing it and it's just like okay I'll change colors it's pretty cool well since I'm already dirtying it up I guess I will try to use it. Is it any good? Is it not any good? I'll be back. Let me go actually put water on it. Okay, so it stayed purple. It's kind of... I don't know. It's not really... So this is the normal sponge I like. Very soft, bouncy. This one's a bit more firm and the shape of it is um, it's not, I'm not liking it. But here we go. Time to ruin it. So the smell of the serum is already dissipated, luckily. Thankfully. I was not looking forward to smelling like lemons around myself all day. Not that I mind lemons, you know. But I am going to try to pat it on there. So, it's absorbing my makeup more than it, my other sponge would have. <sighs> yeah. No. I'm having to work a lot harder to get it to go mm. Freya being firmer it really did like absorb a lot of my makeup so do you see it's still 
not laying it down where I want it to. I'm really having to like press to get my foundation to come back out. I'm like, I don't really want to get a third pump. Normally two would have been more than enough. No, I would have been able to bring it down into my neck area. But, okay, that's that. Not a fan. Definitely not a fan. And no, I'm not trying to hate on this, okay? It's just, that was a little more work than I wanted it to be. So, now I'm gonna do, gonna go ahead and do my concealer because I'm going to bronze with the bronzer that it came with. But I'm not gonna contour with it, obviously. So, I'm gonna see if that even, <laughs> that's not very sharp or pointed. Not like literally sharp, but I mean like, So that's lifting it more than it is actually blending it. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. So hard right now. This is not, this is not fun. Okay. Please don't take my coverage away. I am tired and I need the coverage under my eyes. Okay, so it is so firm and I'm like having to squeeze it to be able to get the pressure down and all that. And it's, my, my thumb is just like, no. If you're wondering why I'm complaining, it's because of the fact that I do freight, freight at work. So I stalk. And I use my fingers to tear the boxes off when they have glue. You know, lift and then have to tear them open even then. So my fingers are like achy and then having to squeeze a sponge that's really resisting is not fun. Definitely not for the working people. Yeah. No. no. So there's my and I'm gonna put this my actual sponge that I do like over there. I'm going to try to open this up now. This is the bronzer. So we're gonna go in with this in a moment. Where is my I have tweezers, but I don't know where my, um, nail file went. So I'm going to open this up. It's like, very soft. Look at that. So that is a good bronzer for me. For like a medium tone. So I'm going to go in. And I'm going to do the perimeter of my face. It's very warm, which is fine. I like that. That's cool. Nice and warm. It definitely picks up a nice amount of color. Gives it a diffuses very nicely into the skin. Blends. Blends wonderfully. No complaints there. Just warming up the edges before I contour is all I'm doing right now. So, okay. I like that. That bronzer is actually quite nice. Wonderful. For the actual contouring part, I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place one. And the dark. And I'm going to go in with this one. I just like the undertone for this. It's cool tone. And it, it just seems to work nicely for me. And I tend to use like something like this to bronze with. You see what I mean? That nice warmth it gives. That depth. I like these. These shades are complementing each other nicely. You guys get to see my routine, like a routine on how I've been doing my makeup. Going into contour my nose. You could have used the bronzer for this section too. I'm just going to use the deep tone today. I go back and forth. It always depends. It's like, do I want super snatched or do I want to be more natural? <laughs> okay. 
And if you lose control or if you do it, overdo it, you can always go back in. Enlighten it. I don't want it to be too, too obvious, you know? I'm kidding. I really don't care. So we have that. Wonderful. I do enjoy that one. I think that's a great price, too, for that. So but this one's very, very pink, in my opinion. So I'm going to do that, opening it up. I wish I had gotten one of them. I kept the lashes. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with having returned the nails, but the lashes mark. How did I not realize it didn't come in this? I'm having trouble opening this if you haven't noticed. There we go. So it's a very pale pink. Very pale. I had like Pepto Bisbal next to me, and I'm like. So this one I'm going to use for right here. Let me make sure I don't have any other blush on my brush. Did I say brush on my brush? Blush on my brush. Nice and off. Dip. One quick dip is what I did. There is a hint of color. Do you see that? No color. Color. No color. One little pet. And we have rosiness. Ooh, so very pigmented. Oh, I like that. That's like a nice, soft, warm glow. Beautiful. If you like to do like that nice, like flirty over the bridge of the nose you know some people can pull that off beautifully i am not one of those people <laughs> i wish i was so because of the fact that i like to do some dark blush right here i'm gonna go in with the kaleidos one that i just reviewed the other day and i'm gonna do that on top of my contour because i like to keep that chiseled <laughs> don't smell while you're doing that one Changes the shape of the face. Oh, nice. Ah. Okay. Dramatic. Oh, we love it. Okay. So then we're going to do the highlight. Opening this. Why do I struggle? There's like no reason for me to struggle. Okay. Look at that. You see that? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Grabbing my brush, making sure once again that there is nothing on there. Don't want it cheating. You know, giving us this false hope. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Do we see? I mean, there's a nice light sheen. I see it. I'm like, is there scent? Okay. And then if we do it one more time and try to build it up. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yes. So I like that you do you can have more control you can have very light but if you want a bit more of a nice little highlight more of a punch you can definitely build it up and yet it still looks you know natural it looks like just like it's meant to be there so I like that grabbing another brush for the tip of the nose Ooh bridge of the nose keep it well these be really it doesn't matter these are just like the little tiny things that I do for when I'm out and about <laughs> so that's a really nice highlighter nice little sheen a glow I'm not mad at it so nice beautiful beautiful um what's next what is next i believe now we can do the eyes 
So now we can do experiment with this palette. Gonna open it up. Oh, I thought I was gonna open it up. Well, still has a bit of the seal on here. Got it. So this is what it looks like. You have glitter, glitter, shimmer, shimmer, glitter, shimmer, really cool shimmer, Sh shimmer, ish. <laughs> I say ish because it's got like, it's, you see what I mean? There is, but it's not quite a shimmer like these, like these two. It's just got the little specks in there. Then we have matte, 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 and matte. Interesting. So, let's... Oh, and this one's got, like, little gold specks in it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. And because of the fact that I didn't get any of the dual-ended brushes, we will go in with these. Well, I'm wondering exactly what my plan is. Which brushes do I need? Do I want? Who knows? Who knows, right? So, I'm gonna go with this. And then we're gonna do this one. all the information on the back. I'm trying to figure out if it goes like because that says love a lot bear so I'm like is it this one or this one this one this one I'm gonna I think it's this one wish bear bedtime bear grumpy bear pig face pigment it's got a asterisk so I think asterisk is face pigment which means not for use in the area of the eyes. Okay. So that's best friend bear and bedtime bear. Use at your own risk. So we're going to go in with the purple one. We're going to do... Like that. Normally I'm happy with the wet and wild formulation. Normally. So let's hope that stays the same. I'm trying to get my mirror closer, sorry. So sorry. So we're trying to get it to do this. As such. Bit of purple. Ooh. Ooh. Wonderful, wonderful. And then for the top part of that, in between this shade and that shade, I think I'm going to stick with the matte. Love a lot there. So the sense of these setting sprays is really starting to get to me, like it's causing my head to hurt. So if you have sensitive sen sense of smell, these are going to irritate you. They're going to cause irritation. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like that's how the companies that put so much scent into these reply. It's like, sorry. Not really. But it's fine, I understand. Most people do like scents, I guess. That's why they keep doing it. Maybe. So I put that purple down and I'm trying to diffuse it a bit with um, this pink. And it's not really diffusing, or I mean like blending. You see what I mean? It's staying, it's not budging. Which normally you're like, oh yay, but like I want you to blend. <laughs> 
Like, I really do want you to blend. So I'm taking a, what I consider a clean brush. That's a little more densely packed to see if I can get it to blend that purple. So the color's coming up. Like, it's getting, the purple's getting lighter. But it's not really blending into the pink, which I'm not understanding. But, okay. Okay. Alright, then. Now, let's do... Let's do... Mm -hmm. This is the part where I'm like, what can I do to make this, like, really pop? We're going to go in with this orange. And we're going to do outer edge. Okay. Really pack it on. There's kickback in the pan for real. Like... Put this pigmentation on this kind of like, kind of a pale orange. It's really nice though. So I guess it's fine. So we're doing it like this. Like so. And then, it's okay. And because of that, we will do, lay down this gold shimmer right there. I'll do a swatch. On my finger, I lost my nail. Here's, look at that. Okay, so. We're going to do that as a base. And because I want to be dramatic. I guess I'm not being that dramatic. I'm having to go back in this often. To get that shade. <sighs> okay. It comes out nice. So then I do want to do this glitter. You probably want to use glitter glue. To make it stay for sure throughout the whole day but like I just got off work and it's 9 a.m. and I've been up since 10 36 a.m. and I've been up since last night 9 Ooh. 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 you know it's looking nice I'm not mad so at the bottom, <laughs> on the bottom, let's do, you know what, I'm going to do this one. I'm asking you guys for like input here because I'm like starting to get lost. So we're going to do it like this. I do like it. Very light. Lavender. So nice. And I do want to tie out this. Like, look at that. That shade right there. Like, ooh. I grabbed a lot. Whoops. Did it do anything? Very powdery. I'm gonna do it under the brow. There we go. I can see it there. I do like this. I do, but it's nothing extraordinary, you know what I mean? Okay. Okay, it passes. So, I'm going to do this eye, my liner, my lashes, and I'll be back and we'll do like the lips and stuff. Oh, no, I won't do my lashes because we got, um, we got this kid over here. So, I, I lied. Hold on. Let me just do my liner. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, I did add this shade, this green musical shade right here at the ends of it. And then in the inner corner, I did this purple shimmer. And then on top of it, I put a little bit of the glitter right there. I'm liking how it came out together. That, um, uh, that 
violet shade this one right here is very light so it it's not really showing up as well as i would want it to but i mean swatch wise you would think it would like show up because look at that look at that maybe i need something different like let's try a different brush to see if i can get it to really show up or something and it's like maybe it's user error pack it on pack it on my Pack it on. Pack it on. Me. Yeah. Eh. Eh. That shade's not impressing me. At all. So. I want me to just drop everything. So I haven't done anything with my lashes. At all, at all, at all. So we're gonna grab this. I'm curious, curious to see. This one calls for, it's a little kit. And it's 9.49. So here's a cute little box. The wand. Just says mascara. And then here's a cute little bear. I'm the. Okay. I'm like, let me heat it up just a tad. You know that little hack where it's almost like a little curling iron? Don't get it too hot now. Okay. Oh, okay. And then you see, mine go downward. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, so this is definitely giving it a nice curl. Like, you see that? Okay, so the eyelash curler is comfortable. There's nothing too crazy about it. There's the wand. I do like it when it looks like that. You see that little, it's got a bit of a little like in and out. The bristles. So let's, let's try to coat these lashes. Oh, I blinked and I touched the inside of my eye. Oh, did you cringe with me? I cringed. And this is why you don't want to borrow other people's mascara. Those eye juices. <laughs> okay. So I've run it through all my lashes. I'm going to try to do the bottom. Normally I do my bottom lashes first. So I don't know what got into me. Okay. You can see them now. See that? Okay. And then here's what they look like with that. Let's do this side. We went back in. See what I did? Oh my. Going like that. So it's a little bit of a curve that it's got. That's what you want to really hug your lashes and you kind of twist that mascara. Make sure you're coating them. Get them all nicely coated and do not poke your eye like I did. So, they're not looking bad. Let's do a second coat. On all parties involved. Okay. All right then. I'm not Maya. Now that that's um, dried up a little bit, I'm gonna go back in with this. Rip it off. Just 
take it off. Take it off. Okay. Make my bottom lashes appear. Coat these top lashes again. Make sure they're all happily wrapped up in mascara. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry a little. And while that dries, Mm -hmm. So this is, I think, just body glitter. It's got a little seal. I'm going to try to open it. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. We're going to... Do it like this, I guess. I really don't want it to disturb my foundation, so I don't want to move it around too much. But I don't want the hearts on top of each other either. So that's got like little hearts in it. Okay. I'm trying to grab one more heart. I don't want too much of the gel. There we go. Mm. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we have that side with that one. No weird smell, luckily. So that's a nice, like, little pink one with little hearts. And now we're going to do the clear one. On the other side, if I could ever get the little tab to do as I say. Apparently not today, right? Dear me, where'd I put my... I, I know you guys saw me have my um, eyebrow tweezers. Okay, got it. Got it. So here we go. This one doesn't seem to have any shapes in it. This is just straight, just. Ooh. So we're just gonna ooh, wipe it on. Like we did the other one. Ooh. You guys see that? You guys see that reflective? Oh. What if we do them together? <gasps> this one's chunkier than the other one. So if we did it together, oh, okay, yeah, them together is my thing right there. Ooh, yes, yes, mm, mm-hmm, them together is definitely the way to go. I just, I don't know why, I just, oh, oh, not do this. I have glitter everywhere now. The only thing is that that clear one is like definitely chunkier than the pink one with the hearts in it. Definitely chunkier. It's difficult to get some of these hearts out from the tube. That's what I'm trying to get right now. It's another heart or something. There we go. <gasps> Did I get it? I did. I did. Mm. So that's actually quite fun. So you could literally do that. If you have a nice like open top or something, you could do it like on your collarbones like this. And make it really cute. Really cute. So now I'm going to curl my lashes one more time. Just really go at it to see if I can get 
So it's tacky mascara. Because it got stuck on my eyelash curler. Curl them lashes. I don't want to get too close to the base. It scares me. Curl these lashes. Ugh. Oh, okay. I'm not hating it. Oh, okay. So if you like a nice mascara that gives you volume and you want something that like really helps you curl your lashes, I would definitely, th this is very comfortable, very easy on the eyes. The mascara definitely gives you lashes. The fact that I put like eyeliner kind of makes it hard to see them, but they're there and they're nice. They're not clumpy or anything. I know you're seeing up my nose too. Oh, my God. Do you see that? They're nice. And I see coated evenly beautiful wipe that off a little before it gets on icky so i'm happy with that happy with the mascara the eyeshadow palette this is the only one i had an issue with but do you see how that one just came out better so i'm thinking this side just something happened with that side i don't know don't ask me don't ask me what happened there but now we're gonna do these <sighs> of course they would have them i'm not upset that they actually have it like this but like I'm frustrated myself because I always struggle so much with this. I don't even know where I put the eyebrow tweezers that I literally just had. Like, Mar, please, why? Why am I like this? Okay, so let me pause you guys because I'm having a moment. Okay, so I went ahead and perforated all of these. So we're going to begin with Sing Out Loud. Don't, don't judge me when I can't even. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. It smells sweet like cake. So. Beautiful. Just a nice clear gloss. To put over a lipstick. Or I mean if you want to go there. Bare lips. That's fine too. I'm not here to judge. So here's the next one. I might, honestly, if I still struggle, even though I've already perforated these, I'm just a lost cause at this point. <laughs> oh, dearie me. I'm ruining the other swatch. Opening, 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 opening. Get that. So, there's the original. Here's a light pink, a light little tint to it. So, you see? Light tint. It's got kind of like more of a purpley reflex to that one. I would eventually take that off. It smells like cake, so it doesn't smell bad at all. And then next we have... Oh, that one was... Shine... Share a smile. I don't know where I saw shine. We're going to open this. This one kind of separate a little. This one's spread the love. This one's definitely a hotter pink. Drop the red one. Ooh, this one's thicker. So this one's like straight up just a lip gloss. This one doesn't... Has some shine, glimmer, shimmer, shimmer to it. So, like that. Let me find the red one. So here's the red one. I'm probably gonna go with this one. Just to get some color on my lips. So this one is free hugs. Reddish. Ooh. That one's nice. So there we go. I'm like, can you see any of the reflex? Barely. So those are really nice. I'm not going to put a base down. I'm just going to do this red one. Because I do want... I believe I do want red lips. Oh. 
Not really anything too impressive. Mm -mm. I want to see what this one looks like. The clear one? I want to really, like, will this one be more reflective? Oh yeah, that one is, ooh. That one is glossy. Oh. Okay, so, yeah, this one you can definitely see that reflect in it. Mmm, oh, that's so pretty. Oh my goodness, okay. So, there's that. Kind of like, oh, okay. So, the little sparkle 